Hello! Welcome to another Creating with Gorilla Art. We're going to be making this super cute kitty. Meow. Meow. ready to paint a kitty. Welcome to another Creating with Gorilla Art. This is part of our Frosty series and we are making a frosty winter scene with a kitty who's looking up at the tree to a cardinal. I thought it was such a cute fun little thing that we're going to do and it's a winter scene. I can't wait to get started. Let's talk about the supplies you're going to need. All right, you are going to need your black paper. We're gonna need watercolor paper, bumpy side up. You're gonna need your watercolors. You're gonna need a pencil, eraser, a pair of scissors. You're gonna need some glue. And then you're going to need your oil pastels. And we're gonna need yellow, black, red, and I have a very little one, but you are gonna need brown. And then lastly, you're going to need a piece of chalk. And make sure this isn't the oil pastel, that it is chalk, because we're going to be doing some chalk drawing today, which will be a lot of fun. And you will need a water bowl with your uh, brush, your paintbrush, and a paper towel to, do, to dry your brush a little bit. So once you've gathered up all your supplies, meet me on back here. I love that. So we're gonna start using our, um, we're gonna do our background first. So we're gonna use our watercolor paper for that. And we're gonna draw a cardinal. First, we're gonna do the landscape. <clears throat> and right about here, let me move this up a little bit. Sorry. Just so that everything's in your frame. So that's the bottom of our paper. I'm gonna draw a very loose, line. As you can tell, it's not straight across because this is supposed to be our ground and our ground is not straight across. Our kitty's going to take up this whole big space right here, but I think I'm going to do another little line right like that. I'm in sketch mode. Remember, I'm drawing super gently. So I think for your sake, I'll draw a little harder so you can see what I've done. But you you go ahead and draw super gently so that you're the only one who can see it. There's a good close-up. So we've got our land in here and we will be drawing the tree in, but I want to kind of put in the, the base of our cardinal first, meaning like the body. Let's look at our sample. Okay. So we've got to look for the circles Look for the shapes, I should say. I wanna make sure that we put the branch in the right spot, so, and have room for our cardinal. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw our first shape of our cardinal, which is actually more of an oval, isn't it? And then on the head, the head of our cardinal is more of the circle. So now I know I've got, you know, the room for it. And we're gonna draw in the details of our cardinal you know, really get in the head and the beak and all that in a second. But I just wanted to get that kind of the the place setting, if you will, the spot that I that our cardinal needs to be, and then draw the tree. Because sometimes you could draw the tree first and then not have room for the cardinal. And we wouldn't want that to happen, right? So let's start with our tree down here. Now our tree is gonna be kind of hidden, you know, meaning that it's gonna have the other side of it off the paper. So this is just the edge of the tree. And it's gonna have a branch that goes right, I'm gonna kind of do it underneath that body and then come up like that. So it's just this long branch. And notice it's not straight, it's kind of got some natural little curve to it and bend. Okay, so that's part one part. 
And maybe I'll, I'm going to have a couple other branches maybe going off the page like that. See how it kind of went off the page? And then let's see, let's do another one. Uh, I like how it kind of goes off the page. We're not sure where it's going, right? All right, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. So right now I've got three branches. I've got our tree here. Get a little bigger down there. Our tree is there, and then it's got these three branches coming off. You see that? All right, I'm pretty happy with that. And like I said, we'll put the cardinal in a little bit in a second or two here. Now we're going to have some little danglies some berries. So I'm just going to have a few little things, little lines, and then our berries. A couple berries there. A couple berries there. We'll draw that in more later. All right, so let's get our cardinal looking more like a cardinal. I'm going to put in a picture of a cardinal, cardinal right now. Yeah, I just wanted you to kind of see what a cardinal looks like. And you will get a paper on how to draw a cardinal. And so you can use that as, as reference as well. But the easiest way is to put these shapes in that I have right here. And now a car the cardinal, the neck, see that part right there? That's really connected. And it has these little funky feathers right in here. I'm going to do a close-up. And then over here... They've got some feathers happening there. Okay. And then the beak. Beak is right about there. Got a little too big, I think. Make that a little smaller. And I'm going to go ahead and erase those lines right there that were the circle. And it doesn't have this thing here. It's more of a more of a curve down like that. See that? That's why it's so important to draw super gentle. And I'm going to make a little line like that. That's going to be where our black is going to go. And you'll see that in a second. All right. And then it's going to have a little wing right about here. This looks a little confusing. Let me make that a little more clear. See that? And I'm going to have one right there for the wing. That's a pretty good cardinal right there. And it was pretty simple, you know, drawing those shapes. And then it was a matter of connecting those things right there. That was it. Now I'm going to draw in my cardinal using my red and I'm just going to try and use the corner of my um, oil pastel and I'm going to just press it along. And kind of do these little zigzaggy things for the I'm gonna go ahead and do everything red. And then I'm gonna smear it in a second. You guys all know how to smear. We've smeared lots of times, haven't we? Okay. That's cute. All right, so I got my red in. Now I'd like to kind of turn my paper just so I have a better angle. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna smear that. You want to be very careful about smearing around here because if you smear 
where I did the little zigzags, you might not be able to see the zigzags. So I'm really not smearing in those areas. I just really smeared here. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to just run a little black on the edges here and maybe where like that wing would be underneath like in the belly area. Be careful not to do too much. And then there's a Cardinals are known. They've got this black area right in there. I'll put a little bit up in there. Not much. Be careful with that black. And then I'm going to fill this in. Make sure you blow instead of white because you can smear. I fill this in with yellow and I am going to put like where the eye would be a little yellow, just like that. And that is our Cardinal. Isn't that cool? Now we're going to have some other little fun things, some little berries. Put my berries in. Just little dots. Little dots of red. Now our water, you could watercolor, but our watercolor didn't really have um, red. So that's one of the reasons I'm using our red oil pastel. Use the edge. Put a little berries, a few other places. And now I'm gonna use my brown, color in this tree. We're going to have to definitely do some smearing of this tree. All right. I know what I forgot to tell you as I'm sitting here. You are going to need two other things for this project. And I'll tell you what they are in just a sec. I'm going to come in with the little black and I'm just going to rub it a little bit. I'm not coloring the whole thing. I'm just doing the underneath of our branch. See that? And it's going to add some, um, a little bit of shading in there. And now I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to smear that in. Careful not to smear over your berries. And if you get too close to them, you can always recolor them in. It's no big deal. There. Got my little tree in. I like that a lot. That looks good. All right, so I'm going to take the time to go clean my fingers. I want you to get all caught up and then meet me back here for the next step. Okay, so there were two things that I forgot to tell you that you are going to need for this, all right? A couple of things, actually. You're going to need your white paint. Hopefully, you have some leftover. You don't have to have white paint for this project, but it does kind of complete it. And I'll show you more what we're doing with that white paint later. Um, but you also need your, hopefully you have some, some of that snow left over. And lastly, you know, I always do this, right? We're going to have our splatter brush, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to paint the background here and we're going to grab our watercolors and we're going to do a wet on wet technique. Now, I believe I've taught you the wet on wet technique before, but for some reason, I can't remember if I did for sure. So we're going to do it again. So I've got my brush and I've got it really wet. I have not put any, um, any of the watercolors on there. I'm just going to paint it with water right now. And it's going to make our surface really wet and liquidy and you'll see why that's important. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just, I'm working in sections. So I'm going to grab some blue. I think I'm going to go for this blue right here. And I'm just going to paint it just side to side. And it kind of likes to swim because of the water we put on there. It's just swimming around and I think it gives a real pretty look, you know, because then you see some white happening a little bit. 
So it's called a wet on wet technique because you're, you're painting wet watercolor onto a wet paper, a wet paper. All right, so now I'm gonna re-wet again. I'm wetting the paper. You wanna work in sections because if you were to wet the paper all, the whole thing, it would dry out. So I like to do a little bit at a time. And see, it gives all this little white in there. It makes it look like maybe it's um, clouds or something. And it's just a lot of interest. Don't be afraid to paint right on top of your oil pastel to get close because it um, it resists it, that oil pastel. All right, oh, I need to add a little water. Just like that. I'm gonna put just a couple little streaks of blue down in here, right here. You'll see why later. It kind of comes up real nice. All right. Got my blue in there. My blue sky. Very pleased with that. So we'll come back. We're going to finish that up later. What I want you to do is to get caught up and then put this aside to dry. I'm going to put it over and it's just going to sit and dry while we go to the next step. So catch up and meet me yeah. back here. So let's take a look at our kitty. Our kitty isn't looking straight on at us, is it? It's, our kitty is actually has got its head tilted slightly and it's looking up at the cardinal. So we're gonna do some little tricks to our cat to give more of that illusion that it's looking in a certain direction, okay? So, Always, when you're drawing, we're breaking down shapes. So we're first gonna draw, I'm using chalk to do this. And this is a great, you can use pencil or you can use chalk, but I like the chalk because you'll be able to see it real well. And I think it's so easy to use. So I'm gonna draw my circle, but it's going to be tilted a little bit. Can you see that it's got a little, a little bit of an angle? It's almost an oval. It's just right in between that, right? Now I'm gonna draw two lines that come down like this. Just a very simple little kitty, nothing technical today. But that angle is very important, slight angle. Notice how big it is, okay? It's, it's at least as big as the palm of my hand and it means it's gotta be way bigger than yours because mine's bigger. And then I'm going to draw a little kitty tail, just like that. Let's put some ears on our kitty. Kitties have these pointed ears. So one of the, one of the little things that we're going to do to make the kitty's face look like it's turned a little bit is that we got this bigger ear here and a little, see how it's lower? because of the head is tilted. This is a little lower kitty ear, just like that. And now we're gonna do these big eyes. And one's gonna be a little lower. See the little theme we got going on? The ear is lower than that one. This one's lower than that one's. It's also a little smaller. And then I'm gonna do a little diamond nose mouth <laughs> and we'll draw in um, we're gonna draw in some whiskers and stuff later but for right now that's all I want to do now the best part the fun part is since we're using chalk what we can do is we're gonna turn it on its side just like that that's the long side and we're going to rub it like this all along. And it's really kind of fun. And then if you want, you can take your finger and smear it in. And what it does when you do that, it kind of dulls it up and it gives it kind of the gray. 
that's making it kind of a gray. And do the same thing here. And I'm gonna smear that. And then I'm gonna do it here too. It's really important to be using the side of your of your chalk. Okay. Ears in. If you go over the mouth or the nose, don't worry about it because we're going to color it in with oil pastel. All right, so now I'm going to rub this in like this. Very nice. Rub that in. Yeah, see, I lost my nose, but that's okay. In fact, I'm going to not worry about it at all. So I kind of wanted it to ha it'd be a kind of a gray cat. And this, by rubbing it in, it gives it that real nice illusion that it's gray. But I want to have some whiter highlights, like maybe where the chest would be. So I'm going to press a little harder. You know, before I was doing it gentle. Now I'm going to do it a little harder. And I don't think I'm going to rub it in. I'm going to let that white just pop right there. And I wanted to have kind of some white cheeks. Real white cheeks. So I've got my edge of my white and I'm going to come around here now. <laughs> Cute. They might have a little whiter tail, so that's going to press a little harder right there. Don't worry about if it smears out of the line because you know what? We're going to cut this. It's going to be fine. So I've got my white spots, which I'm really pleased with. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to grab my black oil pastel. And I am going to kind of outline it a bit. Not going to matter too much with the outline because we are cutting it, but I am going to outline it a little bit. And for the ears, I'm going to co color it in just a little bit, make it a little darker inside. Just a little bit. And then I think I'm going to give it some eyebrows, just like that. And under its chin, it's gonna, it's bound to be a little darker. So I'm using the long part. And I am gonna smear that just a little bit. A little whiter right there. Just to give some definition. See that? Now I think it'll be really cute to put some, some stripes on my kitty. Actually, what we gotta do is put the little arms in right there. And on this little pause, I almost forgot about that. Did I see that? Yeah. So let's put some stripes in. I had a little striped kitty when I was really little and we called, she had a really cute name. Her name was Kitty Candy. Kitty Candy, I remember that. We found her. She showed up at our house one day. And we were started feeding her and she stayed our kitty because we couldn't find her an owner. Ooh, look at these stripes. They're fun. Do you guys have a kitty? You have to tell me if you have a kitty. If you have a kitty, you could take a picture when you show me this picture that you make. Have your kitty there. That'd be fun to see. Okay, so I'm doing stripes like that. Do one stripe right there. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> I like that. And then I'm not gonna do the nose or the whiskers yet because I wanna put in the nose. So I'm 
draw my little diamond nose again and then its mouth. Funny. Oop. Three little whiskers. Now let's draw in the eyes. This is fun. Now you guys could do any eyes you want. If you'd rather do like cutie eyes or something, go right ahead. Here we go. Isn't that funny? I think I'm gonna outline them. I didn't outline them in the other, but I think I wanna outline up these. Oh my gosh, how fun. Kitty's nose got a little wonky. There we go. Now I'm not putting the pupils in. Okay, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna tell you why later. So I want you to go ahead and get all caught up drawing this kitty. And then I want you to take the scissors and cut it out and meet me back here. Okay. I'm going to, I wanted to tell you to go clean your fingers. Make sure they're nice and clean for the next step. Okay. So welcome back. So I got this all cut out and I'm going to place it on the bottom of my paper. Let's see. So the bottom of my kitty is going to line up with the bottom of my paper. And I think it's funny if the tail is sticking off a little bit, that's okay. You just don't want to have it cover up, you know, your, um, cardinal. So I want it way over here. And like I said, I don't mind if my tail is, is sticking off. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Let's use our glue. Let's see if I can make mine work. I'm having trouble getting my glue out of here. So I may just have to take this tip off and see what I can do. All right, I'm gonna be careful because it's gonna come out real quick now. You wanna make sure you get the, um, you know, where the ears are and the outer perimeter. I like to do the outer perimeter first, but this was a little weird because like I said, I was having trouble. So you don't need this much. In fact, that's probably too much, but we already have it on there. So I'm committing, pop this on. Here we go. I gotta be careful. Remember the tail, I didn't put it, you know, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. because it really didn't need to be there. Here. Glued that on. And now we're gonna have the last little details, the little fun things. So I wanna have these eyes looking like they're looking straight at the cardinal's eye. So I'm gonna draw an imaginary line from this cardinal's eye. Remember, imaginary. And right there is where my dot's gonna go because I took a line imaginary line and I ended right at the tip and now I'm gonna do the same thing okay imaginary line right there and see how now my eyes look like they're looking right at the Cardinal's eyes so it's an imaginary line to the tip easy peasy now we're gonna put in our snow. We're gonna need this, and you are going to need your splatter brush. Now let me press this down just to make sure it gets glued on there real well. And your that white paint, remember I said you were gonna need a little of that white paint? So I'm gonna take my splatter brush, and I'm just gonna pounce it all around here doesn't have to cover everything because it's already white as you can see 
but by having it do this pouncing, just like when you did it on the other um, project, it adds texture. A little bit right in there. So while it's wet, I'm gonna sprinkle some of our snow. That's fun. Okay, now up here, guess what? You're gonna have a little bit of snow up here. Now you don't, I only did the tip. You don't wanna do too much. Our cardinal might have a little snow on it. So I'm putting a little snow right on my tree. Just like that. And then maybe, I think it's funny that the kitty might have a little snow that fell on it. So I'm gonna add a little bit right there. And yes, you can add your sprinkles there too, if you want. Cute. And then of course, you know what we have to do, the last thing. Oh, I didn't know you were so crooked. Got a splatter. So I just dipped in the snow, the white a little bit, and then I'm just taking my finger and I'm flicking it and I'm definitely gonna flick it onto the kitty cat. What are we gonna name our kitty? What'd you name the kitty? Mine, you know, I've gotta name it Kitty Candy cause that was the name of my kitty when I was a kid. And it, it reminds me of my striped kitty. Little snow, and this is definitely a frosty project, wouldn't you say? It's covered with snow and it's frosty, frosty scenery. I just think that this is a fun, easy one. And I really wanted you guys to, to learn how to show that perspective that that kitty is looking right up at that cardinal. And I think it's fun. Maybe the cardinal's looking at it going, oh, I'm far enough away, you can't catch me. <laughs> did you enjoy this project? I sure hope you did, I did. And I can't wait to catch you on the next Creating with Grill Art. Bye guys.